point that I will become totally humble. And when you're ready to release everything to God, then God can use you. Yeah. Can you hear what I'm saying? Until Come you're on. ready to release everything to God, it's only when you do that, then can God what? I don't care how much you go to church, how much you sing, until you're ready to release everything to Jesus, all to Jesus, you never want to be used the way God wants you to use you. Wants to use you. You've got to humble yourself. Say humble yourself. Humble you got to fall out of agreement with you. Amen. All I agree with you. I don't care what you think. Uh, our righteousness is in but 50 rags. Amen. The praise of God. I mean, without Jesus, you're nothing. And so it gave me some scripture at first. I have to understand that you, many times you like that tree, um, a freak tree that's bearing nothing. You're not producing. And let me tell you something. If you're not producing love, you're not producing the rest of the fruit. He backs it up with Matthew, St. Uh, John, the 15th chapter. Every branch of me does not bring forth fruit. He take it away, right? Backs it up with that. Comes back and backs up Galatians 5. Talking about the acts of the sinful nation and the fruit of the Spirit. I, I gets into Romans 5 and verse 5. Turn there for me, Romans 5, verse 5. And this is uh, uh, what every Christian must realize, uh, especially when you tell me that you're not able to love. And anytime somebody tell me that they can't love Evelyn, they're telling me that they're not born again. Can I say that again? Yeah. Anytime you tell me you cannot love, yeah. uh, then you're not born again. Yeah. Okay, you're not. Uh, in spite of uh, a good religious feeling, a good a religious emotion, it doesn't mean because you're in this building that you read your Bible, that you pray, that you're saved. Amen. Am I right, sister? Amen. The Bible said that all that cried, Lord, Lord, shall not enter yeah. the kingdom of God. Understand yeah. that. Yeah. There's a certain criteria by which you must produce in order to be born again. Amen. Your born again experience cannot be just a man words. It has to be action. You can't just confess with your mouth. You got to believe in your heart. Which means you, if you believe that Jesus died on the cross, was buried, and rose on the third day, you're ready to act upon what you believe. And because we know He is the Word, He died the Word, He resurrected as the Word, and I have to allow the Word become a part of me. I have to live the Word, think the Lord Word, breathe the Word. The Word must be hidden in my heart so I don't sin against Him. I got to do what the Word says. If I do not do what the Word says, then I'm not producing fruits. Amen. I'm not producing, number one, the fruit of love. Because the Bible said that if you love me, you will keep my what? Commandments. Uh, those who do not love God will not keep. God's commandments. Those who do not love themselves will not respect themselves. Those who do not love and respect themselves will not love their neighbors as they love themselves. I'm telling you, we have a love issue. Say a love issue. A love issue. And if you cannot love, when you hear people say, well, I can't love. You know, I have a hard time loving. I'm scared to love. Uh, let me tell you something. There is no fear in love. You know, I'm scared to, you know, trust. Uh, there's no fear in love. Perfect love casts out all what? Fear. Well, how come I cannot love because you have not received the born again experience yet. Yeah. Because, because I'm going to show you what Romans lets you know that when you are born again and when the Holy Ghost is in your heart, watch what he does as it relates to love. Love is not something you have to force. I don't have to make myself love you. The Jesus in me love the Jesus in you. Come on, talk to me. Come on, it's not difficult. When you tell me I just can't forgive because you don't love. Come on, talk to me. Yeah. You do not love when you do not forgive. You are either loving or you're hateful. Yeah. And so, and so, you are not born again when you can't do it. I don't care how religious you've been for 30, 40, or 50 years. If you do not correct this love issue, you're just as lost as somebody out there doing crack cocaine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, watch what it said, uh, Romans 5 and 5. You got to read this word. Read it for me. Ready? Ready. Thank you. I'm on television. Amen. Read this word. I'm on television. Let me get my television to look on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get my television to look on. We walk like yeah. Jake's. Uh, Pull this right here. I'm preaching. Yeah. Oh. I can illustrate why I preach. Oh, yeah. You do it. <laughs> oh, wow. Get my feet where you <laughs> This is how Jake's doing. He preach. If you cannot love, you are not born again yet. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Love is deep. 
because when you love, you won't fornicate. That's right, that's right. That's right. Fornication ain't love, it's lust. Come out there, yes. 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 Don't tell me, I love cheating, love my wife, and you cheat on her. You don't love her. No, you don't. That's right. That's right. No, you don't. Amen. You, Amen. you arrest. You do not agape. Amen. That's not the right kind of love. Yeah. Real love will make you do right. Yeah. Believe in our dreams. What's that? Love will make you do wrong. Love will make you do right. I don't believe that. Love will make you do right. Yeah. Watch what Romans say. And I'm, I'm about to because I only had a few minutes, but I got a whole lot to say about this, and I'm gonna have to say a whole lot to say in Bible studies and as we go, because I gotta adjust this work, this ministry, wherever you go. I still got to give you an alignment. Say amen. Yeah. My prayer is whether you follow me or you go somewhere or wherever you go, be in right alignment. Yeah. Amen. Penetrate the churches that you go to. Yeah. Somebody say amen. Penetrate. Amen. Yeah. Love so much until they can't help but come to you and get ministry. Yeah. Love so much until they will be drawn to you. When they come to you, they will see fruit yeah. hanging yeah. on your vine. Come on, talk to me. You won't just be like that fig tree when nothing believes. You, wherever you go, I hope I penetrate you. I hope my life penetrates you. Yeah, yeah, I hope yeah. these words that I have to say to you in these days that we have together that it penetrates you so much that whenever you, wherever you go, apostolically you will represent. Yes. Yeah, you will yeah. represent Jesus. Yes. Yes. You will be a different kind of member wherever you go. Amen. You will be in right standing, right alignment. Yes. Ready for the Holy Ghost to use you. Yes. Release the glory of God out of your belly yes. that shall flow rivers yes. of living water. Yes. Wherever you go, yes. you will hear yes. about your ministry yes. penetrating yes. Kansas City. Yes. You will hear about yes. the lame walking the by and seeing the yes. deaf and the crippled yes. one straightening out. Yes. Because you're lined up with the word of God. Lined up when it came to your love towards God and love towards your brothers and your sister. Watch what he says about love. So many times our marriage is a jacked because we don't love each other. We don't want gap each other. We don't love each other in a unconditional way. We love, we married out of sex. Come on, talk to me. We love out of pleasure. Come on, it wasn't real love. Come on, talk to me. It ain't real love. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't. Okay, look at me, it still ain't. Come on, Jesse. Come on, Jesse. Yeah, come on now. It ain't. That's what's wrong with the whole world. That's what's wrong with the family.